Okay, so next on the list is Susan Harris. Now, I remember the first conversation about a show that I remember anyways with Susan was creating something to give a voice to the elderly. And I had two people in mind already, uh, Betty White and B. Arthur. <clears throat> and basically we beat out the premise that became Golden Girls. One of the things that I pushed was they can say whatever they want because who's going to tell grandma they can't say things? So we had that. And then a, a while later, I had two other people, I, the Christy McNichol and Richard Mulligan. And I really liked Christy McNichol, of course, from being fresh out of my teen years. So I had her create Empty Nest. And uh, years later, I was in LA and I did go to the studio. At the Golden Girls, I did ask one of the pages or, or, to send a message to Susan that I was there using my, of course, colloquial psycho name. Um, I do know she came out to the door, she got a glance at me because she was busy, they were getting ready to just, you know, start doing the show so she didn't have time to go over and talk, I wasn't trying to do that. But when they did bring me in, they did put me in the VIP seating section that was all taped off and I did notice that B kept staring at me through the production. I also went to Empty Nest. Unfortunately, I was greatly disappointed because it was the week Richard came out to announce that Christy would no longer be with the show for health reasons. Um, so that's my little bit of Susan Harris uh, story. Um, we'll see what happens. Next time, I think I'll do Robert Zemeckis.